Although the reproductive system of fetal pigs is not as developed as it will be, nevertheless, one can still observe most of the structures. Although the gonads develop inside the abdominal pelvic body cavity, they leave going through an inguinal canal, and thus the testis and the spermatic cord which connects it uh, have passed through the inguinal canal and are now outside the pelvic body cavity. The cremaster muscle and fascia have been removed to expose the testis and the epididymis in this image. The cremaster muscle can contract and move the testis closer to the body where it is warmer, say on a cold day. The epididymis sits on top of the testis like a hood, and from the epididymis, a sperm travel through the vas deferens, which is part of the spermatic cord. In these images, the urinary bladder uh, has umbilical arteries on either side of it, which leave through the navel and then enter the umbilical cord. Two ureters uh, empty urine into the bladder. The inguinal canal marks the spot where the spermatic cord enters the pelvic body cavity. Once it does, the vas deferens, which is the reproductive tube, and the other components, such as the testicular artery, testicular veins, lymphatic vessels, nerves, they separate. The vas deferens will go over a ureter, and then posterior to the bladder, it will pass through the prostate gland. Meanwhile, the blood vessels will go to the abdominal aorta, inferior vena cava, etc. In these videos of the female fetal pig, notice that the reproductive system is the middle system. So the bladder is anterior. Once again, the umbilical arteries are on either side of it. The large intestine is posterior, and the reproductive system is in the middle. There are a pair of ovaries, and Although one might think that the winding tube is an oviduct, it isn't. Most mammals have a uterus which has a central body that splits into two uterine horns, so it is Y-shaped. Uh, the oviduct is actually quite short, connecting the ovary to these uterine horns. Primates are unusual among mammals in having a pear-shaped uterus. In most mammals, the uterus is more Y or T-shaped, once again with these uterine horns. Uh, there are a number of ligaments which anchor these reproductive structures, such as the broad ligament, which will uh, anchor uh, most of the uterus. Obviously, in adults, these reproductive structures can become more prominent and can change. In males, for example, the testes will descend into a scrotum, which they have not yet done in this stage of uh, fetal development. And obviously, the female reproductive system not only undergoes changes, but will change further in pregnancy. And obviously, since we are uh, considering the anatomy of fetal pigs, uh, thus the uterine horns are significant in that this is where those fetal pigs were developing. Note the difference between the uterus in a pig which was not pregnant and the pigs which are pregnant.